Um, he is a very strong man that we will find him alive and safe and bring him home to his family. Right now at 10, friends and family not losing hope, praying a Southeast Texas police chief will be found safe after he went overboard near the Texas City Dyke. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. Kima Police Chief Chris Reed went overboard just before 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Channel 2 Sally Mamdu is at the Texas City Dyke with the newest information. She joins us live. Sally? Jonathan, we're at the same spot like we were yesterday where this launch was searched for the chief. We've seen boats go into the water throughout the day. Boats from with several law enforcement agencies go into the water, continue to search for the chief. This is while just several miles away, people gathered to remember this chief and pray for his safe return. The lives Kima Chief of Police Chris Reed has touched extends to more than just close friends and family. Chris's reach in our community is deep, not just within our school district, but in our education foundation. He's a school board member with Clear Creek ISD, a husband and a father to three children. But at this gathering organized by people hoping for his return, all agree Reed was widely known for his big heart. He is an advocate for children and for justice, and um, he is a gentle giant and just one of those men that would give you the shirt off their back, the money out of his pocket. This was one of those guys that would go out of his way to help just about anybody. He was always there. A spokesperson for the Reed family read a short statement at the gathering. Janet and the Reed family, I said, just as you showered them with strength and love, you also extend your faith and your hope as the search for Chris continues. Reed was on his boat with his wife Friday afternoon when Coast Guard officials say another boat passing by caused strong wake that caused Reed to fall into the water. Officials say Reed was not wearing a life jacket at the time. So far, Coast Guard officials say their search spanning over 350 square miles has come up empty. But at this gathering, hope is keeping the community optimistic. That's what I'm clinging on to, is that he's somewhere out there, you know, just waiting to be found. He is a very strong man. Coast Guard officials tell me that they will remain on scene in Galveston Bay and search throughout the evening as well as vessels from assisting agencies. They tell us throughout the day that the search for the chief will continue until further notice. We are live in Texas City. Sally Mojo, KPRC Channel 2 News.